Hello friends. Good afternoon. Heating effect. Today's topic is heating effect of electric current. Means we should have some arrangement that can completely transform the electrical energy that is being inputted there. Input there should be completely transformed into heat energy. There is an arrangement of high resisting aluminium plate within a circuit. Okay, battery is given. Let there is an electric circuit which has the capability to transform complete electrical energy into heat form. Okay, in this case, energy will be equal to heat energy. Okay, completely electrical energy that is being that is being uh, given should transfer completely transform into heat energy means this is a also a kind of energy that's why both will be equal in bulk some amount of energy is also transformed into heat energy but basically it is used to give up give the uh, transform the heat and uh, electrical energy into light energy but in in an iron heater geyser what you see that they have the high resistance means they uh, oppose high resistance they offer high resistance to the flow of charge so that uh, they are complete completely uh, kinetic energy is going to be transformed into heat energy okay so in this case energy will be equal to heat energy okay we already have w is equal to the difference you know very well and w is equal to ir why because equal to ir according to ohm's law again the of q there q is equal to i by the definition of electric current i have said here okay Q is equal to I T. Therefore, R R T is the value of H. Okay. Means here is an arrangement which is completely able to transform the electrical energy into heat energy. Okay. So this is the expression for the heating effect of electric current. H is equal to I square R T. Now we are going to please write down it. After writing this, I am going to discuss uh, about the Joule's law. What the, what does the Joule's law say? The Joule's law says that H will be completely proportional to I square if R and T, R means resistance that is being offered, okay, and the time both are constant in this case h will be proportional to i square i'm going to going to erase the board and explain it in the okay so get ready here we have h will be equal to joule's first law states that first law states that h is proportional to i square but when if r and t both are constant r constant okay means a resistance the resistance of the appliance is not going to be changed and the time for which the current is supplied through the circuit is same. In this case, H will be equal to, uh, proportional to I square. Means H1 upon H2 will be equal to I1 square upon I2 square. Got it? Agar aap करेंट को दुना करते हैं तो एच जो है दो का स्क्वायर चार गुनी हो जाएगा ठीक है अगर करेंट को थ्री टाइम्स करते हैं तो थ्री स्क्वायर नाइन टाइम्स हीट हो जाएगा ओके बस शर्त ये शर्त ये होगा कंडीशन ये होगा 
आर और डी दोनों ही कांस्टेंट होने चाहिए ओके सेकेंड वन ये कहा जाता है कि एच विल बी प्रोपोर्शनल टू आर एस आर इफ ओनली इफ आई एंड डी आर कांस्टेंट मतलब ये आई को अगर जो आप जो करेंट इसमें जैसे मान लीजिए पाँच एम बेर का करेंट जा रहा है पाँच एम बेर का करेंट ही हो और टाइम भी दो सेकेंड या दस सेकेंड जो भी है दस सेकेंड मान लीजिए दो एम बेर का करेंट दस सेकेंड बिल फ्लो कर रहा है ठीक है रेजिस्टेंस यहाँ बदल रहे हैं रेजिस्टेंस पचास ओम के जब सौ ओम दे दिए ठीक है तो इस केस में आप देखेंगे चूंकि रेजिस्टेंस को डबल कर दिया गया एक जो दो एम बेर का करेंट है दस सेकेंड के लिए वही 50 ओम के लिए और 100 ओम के लिए अगर जो है सेम कंडीशन प्रोवाइड किया जाए तो डेफिनेटली हीट जो प्रोड्यूस होगा 100 ओम वाले में वो 50 ओम वाले से डबल होगा ठीक है टू टाइम्स होगा यानी आप कह सकते हो क्या कि H1 वन अपॉन एच टू विल बी इक्वल टू आर वन अपॉन आर टू इज देर एनी प्रॉब्लम थर्ड वन इज दिस नॉट राइट इन देर Because this will be invisible due to my interrupts. Third one is H will proportional to T. H will be proportional to T only if if I and R both are constant. I and R are constant. Got it? So please write write it down. 